Okay, here we've got an algebraic fraction equation, AA star, probably one of the trickiest things you can do at GCSC to try to solve this. Um, the way I'm going to do it is to multiply through by these um, denominators of these fractions. You can try to combine the fractions into one fraction and then multiply through by the denominator. But essentially, you get the same thing. Um, so I'm going to times, start by times it by 2x minus 1. So if I times this first bracket by 2x minus 1, that gets rid of the 2x minus 1 on the bottom. And we end up with um, 2 lots of 2x minus 1 times that by 2x minus 1. And still have got the 2x plus 1. And then we times this side by 2x minus 1. So when we're times in through by denominator, we must times every term in, this, in, the, in the expression or the equation. Then I'm going to times through by 2x plus 1. So we get 5 lots of 2x plus 1. Minus when I times this by 2x plus 1, it just gets rid of the bottom, which is why we do it. And then we times this side by 2x plus 1. Get something like that. Now, if you've got to this, you've got something that looks like that, that's going to get you one method mark. And if you've got something that looks like this, you're going to get one method mark. I guess anything that's equivalent to those will be the, would be the same. There's also an answer mark when you multiplied all this out. Let's just be careful with this and show you how this is done. Um, times that by 5 we get that, minus 2 times 2x is minus 4x, minus 2 times minus 1, this is the key one that could mess the whole thing up, it's, mi it's plus 2 because we've got minus and a minus because it's a plus. Um, multiplying this out, it's difference of two squares, these plus 1 and minus 1 means that they're going to, the middle bit's going to cancel and you're just going to end up with 2 lots of 2 times, times 2x is 4x squared and minus 1 times 1 is minus 1. So we've then got 6x plus 7 equals 8x squared minus 2. So that's probably pretty much half marks so far. Um, to finish this off, we need to rearrange it, get it all on one side, get a quadratic. And I'm going to keep the 8x squared positive, so I'm going to take everything to the right-hand side. You get a 0 here, we've got the 8x squared, we're going to take away the 6x. I'm going to take away the 7, and it's already take away 2, so that's take away 9. So we end up with that equation. Just put the 0 over this side, ignore this for now. And we've got our quadratic. That's an extra mark, so 4 marks we're getting to there. Trying to solve this is worth 2 marks. Uh, one for whatever method you use, and one for the answer. You could use the formula, um, where this is a, b, and c, and you've got the minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Or you could try and factorise. Now I'm going to try and show you this uh, new method of factorising I'm using when you've got multiple x squared. And uh, we've got, if we just write whatever the x squared is, 8x, in both, we times the 8 by the 9 to make 72. Now that's quite a big number, uh, but with that number, 72, we're trying to find two numbers that multiply to make 72, but add to give you minus 6, it's actually minus 72. So we could have, well the first one I can think of is 12 times 6, it just happens to be the right answer, but we'll, we'll do a couple more. Um, minus 9 times 8, and we could go bigger and smaller, there's quite a few factors of 72. But this one works quite nicely because when we add those two together we get minus 6, which is what we want here. So I'm going to put the minus 12 here, and the 6 here, and from there I'm going to cancel down any factors. So um, 2 goes into 8 and 12, but also 4 goes into 8 and 12. So if I divide by 4, I'll get 2x and minus 3, and then divide this one. This one's got a factor of 2, so it's 4x plus 3, and then we're going to have that equals to 12. Now that should, when multiplied out, give you this. So you've got 2x times 4x is 8x squared, minus 3 times plus 3 is minus 9, plus 3 times 2x is 6x, minus 12x is minus 6x. So that works perfectly. Then we all got to do is solve these two equations. So we've got 2x minus 3 equals 0 and 4x plus 3 equals 0. So that gives us this one, gives us x equals add 3 divided by 2 is 1.5 or 1.5. And then this one, we take away 3 divided by 4, we get x equals minus um, 3 quarters or 0.75. So very tricky question, lots of places it could go wrong, but if you keep working it through you'll get some method marks. There's, there's at least four method marks available for this question, so it's worth having a go all the way through 
um, and get to the answer. With these sort of things, quite often then it will come to a quadratic. If, it's, if there's x's on the bottom, it's more than likely, especially if it's near the end, it will be a quadratic.